Hey everybody, this is Melissa. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm working in Excel and I'm going to show you how to use the quick analysis tool. And what this allows us to do is quickly analyze our data. We can calculate, we can insert tables, we can apply conditional formatting, insert charts quickly. So it's a tool that provides us some shortcuts to allow us to quickly analyze our data that we have in Excel. So what we want to do is highlight our data. And if you notice, a, a box pops up here, and this is our quick analysis tool. And you can also get here by hitting Control Q, but I'm going to go ahead and click this box. And as you can see, we have some headers of things that are included. Formatting, charts, totals, tables, and spark lines. So formatting is what we can do within the cells themselves. Like, for example, we can go into greater than, and this is set to format cells that are greater than 30 and fill them with red and then turn the text a dark red. And that's what's happening here. So we can change this to do whatever if we wanted it to turn yellow. If we... I wanted it to just be a red border. So there are several things that we can do within there to make our data stand out depending on what we want. So the next thing we're going to look at is charts. So we're going to go back into the analysis tool and go to charts. And this contains a default set of charts that they, I guess, think are the most used. And they may be ones that you want to use. We have cluster and stack charts, but we can also go to more and go to all charts. And then in here, we'll see bar charts, pie charts, scatter funnels, and different kinds. Let's say we want a pie chart. We hit OK, and then you can move that chart anywhere you want it to go, or you can format it. So let's go ahead and get rid of that and go back into our quick analysis tool. The next thing we want to look at is totals. So this comes in handy if we're needing to calculate data within our Excel sheet. For example, the sum will add up the columns. So for January, all of the fruit combined is 163. February is 168. If we use this sum over here, then it's going to look at apples for the entire year, 346. Cherries for the entire year are 378. We can also do a running total. We can do account, average, and then you have the option to do all of these by row as well. So the next thing we want to look at is tables, and that's pretty easy. You can just come in here and click a table. And then you have a table with drop downs to where you can just pick cherries or you can put everything back. You also have the ability, if you have a whole bunch of data, say for January, you want to look at everything that's less than 30. Okay. And it's just going to pull those that are less than 30. The next thing we can look at is spark lines. And if we had a spark line, that's just going to show your variation up and down of the number of products. If you're looking at money, you know, just how that's trending up and down throughout the year in this case. So that's what we can do with the quick analysis tool. Now, what I've done in sheet two is I've set the data up a little bit different just to show you it's going to look the same but just a little bit different in some of your quick tools. So here we have the fruit coming down column one and we have the months across the top. I've reversed it in sheet two and I've put the months down column one and the fruit across the top. So let's go back to our quick analysis tool and our data formatting doesn't really look that different. It, it looks the same. Our charts, you know, it's going to look the same too. 
Our totals will be a little bit different just because the data set up the opposite. So for this one here, it's going to show you all of the apples for the entire year in 14B. And here it's going to show you all of the fruit for January starting in H2. Your tables will look a little bit different as well, but it's still the same concept. So for in this case, you can say, okay, I want to see the first quarter. So I'm going to do January, February, and March. And then it's going to show you everything across the board. And then of course our spark lines will look a little bit different as well. So that's how you use the quick analysis tools in Excel. If this video was helpful, please be sure to like it. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel and get notified. I'll be back tomorrow for another tutorial. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.